America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the start of the American Revolution in the West. The largest colony in British North America was the province of Quebec. Due to the annexation of vast lands from the Quebec Act of 1774. Its domains extended from the Atlantic seaboard to the Mississippi and south to the Ohio. In 1776, George Rogers Clark was 23 and living in a remote part of Virginia known as Kentucky. Clark petitioned Virginia's assembly to declare Kentucky a separate county, and his boyhood friend Thomas Jefferson helped push through the legislation. The priority of the county was to establish a militia to defend against Indian attacks, and in March 1777, Clark was commissioned a major and soon became the acting commander of the Kentucky militia. On the British side, a debate ensued regarding whether Indians should be supplied and enlisted to help crush the rebellion in the colonies. In March 1777, a decision was finally made and orders were issued by Lord George Germain, Secretary of State for the Colonies, to commence what would prove to be a ruthless frontier Indian war. The news was well received by Quebec's Lieutenant Governor, Henry Hamilton, who thought England was too soft on her rebellious colonists. Hamilton would become known as Hamilton the Hair Buyer for his willingness to purchase as many American scalps as the Indians could take. By September 1777, Hamilton had 1,150 warriors raiding Kentucky, and the county teetered on the brink of collapse. But Clark was not a man to be put off by adversity, and he soon conceived a plan to capture British outposts north of the Ohio to bring some security to Kentucky. Next week, we will discuss Clark's conquest of the Illinois country. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.